Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install plugins with the micro text editor. Okay, so what we can do is we can first bring up a new browser window here. So let's do that and let's search for micro plugins. Okay, and I have this GitHub pages where it's plugins here. And let's scroll down and let's say I wanted to install uh, this Gotham colors scheme, okay? Well, it basically tells me what I need to do from the command line. So I do micro, this flag dash plugin, install Gotham colors. So let's do that, okay? So we're gonna do micro dash plugin, install Gotham dash colors and hit enter. Okay, and it's gonna download that. It says one or more plug plugins is installed. Let's fire up micro. And you'll see here, I did this previously, but if I do control E set color scheme, this is actually the, the Gotham color scheme. Uh, if I tab along here, let me move this up. I'll show you that we now have this Gotham theme here. Okay, so that's the current theme that I'm using. Um, and likewise, if you want to install other plugins, you've got a bunch that you can install here. For instance, if we want to do install a plugin for Go, that's easy enough. I'm going to quit out of here. And I'll do micro dash plugin install Go and hit enter. And there we go. We've got the Go plugin installed in the micro text editor. Now, if you want to get rid of these plugins, this is on a Chromebook where this is located, but you would find, if you're on a Windows or a Mac, you'd find the corresponding folder. I'll cd into config slash micro. And then if I list out the storage here, I see I have this folder plug. I can cd into plug. And I see I have these two folders, Go and Gotham Colors. If I wanted to get rid of one of these, uh, I would just delete the folder. And that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.